Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included in our Ultimate Base 2.0. In the previous episode, we have taken care of Ren's planetoid, we are about to wrap it up, we were struggling with power a little bit when it comes to the Rappel generators, but today we want to try out a few techniques to mitigate that. I think for today's episode what I would like to attempt is send a rocket right here in order to exploit the heat mechanisms and get some more power out of it. In order to do that, I think what we can do is just go with tungsten tasks. Yeah, we have 41 tons of tungsten that might even be enough to get things done. Just to be sure, let's check out the statistics here. Yeah, a very high melting point, good thermal conductivity, not extremely good heat capacity, but we can make do. That just means they're gonna heat up very quickly. We're gonna make it about 9 tiles in size. Then we're gonna go ahead and set up another layer of igneous rock. So something like that I would like to build first. So catching the heat right here, then we somehow have to make it over here. Now I have my rail in the way. Maybe I need a third spot to actually bring this up. <laughs> yeah, this is like really inconvenient. I'm guessing I'm just gonna go ahead and do something like this. And then in the future we're gonna take our rail this way and we just have to make sure that we have a layer of insulated tiles so our pipes are never in trouble. By the way our FPS have dramatically increased and I wanted to check out why this is and look at that we have almost a vacuum here in Growista. I mean there's just so little left and there's also very little left on Otto's planetoid. As a matter of fact Otto's planetoid is a vacuum by now. And there's just a little bit of polluted oxygen because of these nasty spots here. But we can be proud of Marie and I'm gonna bring her back. Don't worry about that, I was just too lazy. Or let's just say too busy with Ren's planetoid right here. So now we have to make some progress in order to get this to work. Uh, but let me just make sure this hasn't been patched or anything. And we should be able to test this out right here. Did I actually get a cable in here? And I made it out of gold amalgam that might be be an issue. Uh, yeah, that might actually be a real issue. So let me take this apart again. I want to make sure at least the cabling inside the doors, I want to make them out of something better. Something that can get fairly hot. As a matter of fact, I only built the upper tiles here out of tungsten. Oh, that might be a problem. So even all of this is iron. Iron has too low of a melting point and I don't want to risk anything. But yeah, what we can do now is take a rocket that is ready and we want to go ahead and change the destination to orbit. We also want to change this to crew and get a pilot in here, begin the launch sequence and then we're gonna make our way immediately back. But obviously we want to just observe how these tiles actually behave. I don't think it's gonna go to 1500 degrees in the first pass. <laughs> oh gosh, uh, I'm not basing this. Oh, look at that. This is great. Wow. Oh, this is actually insane. And now I can immediately make my way back, right, without losing any fuel whatsoever. This rocket is equipped with an emergency escape system. The rocket self-destruct sequence can be triggered to destroy it and propel fragments of the ship towards the nearest planetoid. Any duplicates on board will be safely delivered in escape pods. Wow. <laughs> And there we go, we're coming back and this is heating things up even more. Okay, that's great. Though right now we are giving off the heat, obviously we want to catch it. Thank you Frankie for testing this out with us. Hmm, this is great. Still a lot of heat obviously escaping, but it's not quite as bad as previously. Okay, so now that still works, that means I need to send a rocket over to the planetoid and then send another rocket over in order to get my first pilot back. That could be an interesting project. Let's set up another pad here in order to try and accomplish this. Actually, I might not want to do this right now. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this. Uh, we want a petroleum engine. We want a large liquid fuel tank or even two of them. We want a large oxidizer tank a spacefarer module and I guess that's it. Maybe a basic nose cone as well. So, ah, man, we almost need everything just to get this over. Right then, uh, petroleum engine. We also got two large tanks. One large solid oxidizer tank. The spacefarer module. I guess at this point we can even go with one or two solar panels and then a basic nose cone. There's still an artifact to be gathered. I'm guessing I'm gonna squeeze in another artifact module. There's no reason not to really at this point. 
Right, then once this is built, we have to build the interior and we have to fill it up. Oh, looks like I'm building the exact same rocket we have on the left side. So why not go ahead and actually add that battery module too? That means one of these rockets is gonna go permanently to the other planetoid and another one I'm gonna send after it in order to take my pilot back. So basically we have to land with the rocket and then I'm gonna have to send Ren in order to get in orbit, land the other rocket, then get back with the first pilot and land again with Ren. Except I had two landing pads. Maybe that would be the easier solution, you know. Yeah, I have just enough space if I remove all of this shebang and I think I'm gonna do just that. But yeah, looks like a little bit of building is involved now. So maybe I'm gonna leave Ren the space and time he needs to do every... Ooh, do we have active volcanoes again? That is good! That is gonna give us more power. Meaning we don't need to waste coal with the generators there. Very nice. Okay. No! How did this... Did I... Oh, man. I disabled the freaking beacon. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I mean, we have to have a ladder here anyways, made out of obsidian, so we might as well. I'm gonna be right back once we've made some progress here. Alrighty, quite some cycles have passed, as you can tell, and I finished building the metal monstrosity right here below the first rocket platform. We also have a mechanized airlock, and right now I'm trying to establish the vacuum. This is going to be our steam room here at the bottom. I'm going to measure the temperature somewhere on the right side and then we're gonna have as many steam turbines on top of it as possible. It might be a mistake to make it so narrow, but we'll have to see. Let's just see how many we can actually fit on here. We wanna start, yeah, let's just start from over here. And I'm guessing this is all we can really do right now. So we're gonna work with three engines. I'm also done building the rockets. Now we have two rockets looking exactly like this, so they can accommodate two duplicates. I'm filling up the refrigerator still. So this guy almost has 10 kilograms, but then the other one, uh, oh, actually already two kilograms right now, so that might be enough. But we can get our journey started very soon. I'm gonna send over Gene and Frankie with their individual rockets. Gene is then going to go ahead and analyze all the volcanoes that I haven't analyzed here. And then we are gonna send them both back with one rocket and one we leave here. I'm guessing there's no reason to delay this any longer. We should shut this off. I totally forgot about that. This is probably heating up. Yeah, it's probably time. Ah, just forget about it. Let's go ahead and freaking do this. Checklist seems to be all right in the first rocket. Ah, change destination over to Smellyal. And I want you to land on... Ooh, there's actually one platform we cannot use. Let me check that out. Uh, why is that? Oh, I forgot to take apart these tiles. Oops. But yeah, change the crew. This one is gonna be for Frankie. We're gonna begin the launch sequence, have a look into the interior. We wanna enable these buildings. I had to disable them because for some reason they were using it. Oh, <gasps> wait. That's the wrong rock. No, that's the wrong rocket. Hold on. Who oh, no. knew? I actually filled up this one here. Yeah, okay. That is a slight problem because that is differently configured. Let me see. We want to get rid of two modules here. Well then, let's try this again with the center rocket. We're gonna hop over here. Then we should have two landing pads available. 144 we're gonna take with this guy. It should be full here, even though that doesn't show full. Okay, then inside the interior, we enabled everything that's important. This one here has a little bit much oxygen in the joint. What you gonna do? But one interesting addition they made to the new rockets, apparently. Look at that. The old rockets don't have that. But the new rocket right here has some gas outputs and also liquid in and outputs. Pretty useful. Well then, Frankie, good luck. Begin launch sequence and you can basically hop off. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. Change that over to Smelly Al. But this time around, it's gonna be the other rocket platform. Crew is gonna be Gene. Uh, begin that launch sequence and then interior right here we want to enable these buildings. Frankie has already arrived. We're gonna unequip his suit so he can pop his eardrums and poop. Okay, good choice of activities I would say. Same thing with Jean, unequip that and she's gonna enable her buildings. Now that these guys are actually here we gotta make sure they can consume the berry sludge. So scroll down here. There we go. Frankie and Jean are allowed to eat the berry sludge. Wonderful. Okay, 
So nothing should stand in the way of success, except... Wait, why aren't you going? Don't tell me Jean cannot fly. Yeah, she can fly. Is it because we already have a rocket in orbit? Does that make sense? Wait. In, in the meantime, we should go ahead and finish this contraption. Now, I still need to make my way inside, right? Hmm, actually, let's not build the steam turbines just yet. We need to fill up the entirety of the room. I don't want to pump out anything. That also means I need a way to get inside. Let me see, maybe we can make a liquid lock right here. Yeah, look at this. This might actually work out just fine. I'm gonna do that. Come on, Frankie, you can fly faster. You know, one good thing about all the smelted pipes and transit tubes is now that we have enough naphtha to fill this liquid lock up easily. Let me check out my cooling loops. I might need to hijack this cooling loop. It is holding up pretty well. Yeah, they have barely anything to do. But I would like to use the cooling loop to also get the steam turbines on the top. Alternatively, we could also go with this cooling loop. Uh, though, why aren't you activated? Ah, you activate at 30 degrees. Intriguing. Yeah, you know, it might actually be easier to just hijack this cooling loop. So we are going down here. Let me see. The steam turbines are going to be right there. So we have to come here. We're then going to do some cooling shenanigans and make our way back again into the loop. In the meantime, let me get all the naphtha we have, please. Okay, Chin is now on her merry way. Turns out I actually disabled the rocketry skill for Chin. Uh, my bad. I mean, I was sure I had it activated at some point because I was doing the space research with her, but I don't know. As you can see, we are now making a little bit of progress. I'm narrowing this room down and then we're just gonna tile it completely up. At this point, we also have enough naphtha in the joint to do the liquid lock. It is looking mighty fine. Hopefully my cooling loop here is gonna add up with the piping for the steam turbines, but we can then set up bridges like so as well in order to bring the things down. So right here is where we release the water again. And then the output of the steam turbine is right here, which means we have to actually cut this, get a bridge over here as well. That should be good. And do the same thing for the rest. Ah, uh, looks like Frankie is getting a little bit closer. I wish I sent Jean first, because Frankie will now have to spend an awful long time just idling around on the other planetoid. <laughs> I also increased the amount of batteries we have here. We are now doing mighty fine with the power, especially since the tungsten volcano are contributing once again. If I'm not mistaken, Ren should arrive any second now. And by the way, we made this tree die. Well, it's just the body temperature, but I still found it funny. Uh, there we go. The last 10 seconds. Oh, yes. Please arrive safely. Uh, there it comes. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, no exhaust. Intriguing. Wait, there's really... I, I'm, I'm so confused. Anyways, we're gonna switch this to all. <gasps> oh, we're gonna have a exosuit problem, right? Ah, it's just for a couple of cycles. Yeah, I'm still gonna switch it to all and Frankie can help out. I mean, at the moment he doesn't have a suit, which is actually really bad. Oh no. Okay, let's bring him into the base first, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, you cannot be scalding, guy. You cannot be outside here. I totally forgot it is extremely hot in here. Actually, maybe, Frankie, you just spend your time in bed. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. It's so cute. Ren is so caring after like 300 cycles of loneliness. In preparation for Jean's arrival, I'm already gonna set these volcanoes to be analyzed. I originally wanted to do it by skill scrubbing Ren, but I figured since we're bringing a rocket here anyways, Jean might as well tag along. Oh, 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 there we go. Jean is actually arriving. How wonderful. Now, she does have some exhaust. Okay. <laughs> Let's make sure she is free. I also want to make sure we have this at the same priority. Uh, seven. And then on the planetoid, our storage chest right there is also at seven. That's good. So we don't exchange the food because we already have enough here. I'm also almost done filling this room up with tiles. I think I can do all in one go now. And then Sheen is making her way outside. Now, yeah, let's actually make her go back and equip that suit in here. Uh, she's not going back. Docking exosuit. You don't even... You're not... Wait. Huh? Ah, okay. She actually took... Wait. <laughs> 
This did not go the way I wanted to. I'm gonna try to bring back the suit that is in this rocket at the moment. That was so weird. Okay. <laughs> she was under the impression still wearing a suit. She's analyzing the volcanoes. Now we actually know what's going on. Not that it mattered much. And liquid lock established. Let's go ahead and deconstruct everything again. Get in here. Deconstruct this as well. Oh no. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. Okay. Let's do the steam turbines now. Looks like I set up the bridge one too soon. So we're just gonna undo that. One goes here, one there. And for this one, we have to wait. We're also gonna grab some power just from over here. This shouldn't be a problem in terms of heat exchange. And the room below, we're gonna completely close off anyways. First of all, I would like to build myself some liquid vents. And that is probably the only thing we're gonna have in here, apart from the temperature sensor, of course. Right over here, and this is where we're gonna measure the temperature. Now, what happened here? Oh no, did this actually melt? I, man, I have no idea. I thought I placed a steel wire in here, but maybe I only really dreamed that. So this can be gold. There we go. We need to get in here to build this. And then everything else we're gonna also pick up. The volcanoes are analyzed, and I just sent Jean and Frankie back into the rocket. They were actually breathing all the precious oxygen away. Yeah, this base definitely cannot support three duplicants with my current oxygen production. I also had issues with the carbon dioxide that actually entered after placing the heavy charm plate. So I had to install another pump and then I had the ingenious idea to actually put in polluted water because I don't have normal water. But yeah, well, it's just those little things that you do when you don't think about it. In order to do this without too much pain, I think I'm just gonna set up a water sieve somewhere here. Then we're gonna take the output uh, that is actually pumping the polluted water here and we're gonna bring that over. We're then gonna take the fresh water, bring this all the way down into... Can we use this loop? No. Oh man, I don't wanna do all this uh, temporary piping. That is not good. I want to move these tiles at least one block down here. I think I might be missing one suit, but I totally forgot about the rocket. <laughs> Let's send these guys on their merry way back. So you want to go back to the main base. And we should still have enough range with seven tiles. Yes. Acknowledge warnings, begin launch sequence, and let's go. And this is already nicely heating up. Great stuff. There goes the water sieve. Already... Got my power routed. And this is then simply gonna output right here. We're just gonna make this one higher. And then, uh, do we not have the materials for a vent? Are you kidding me? Wait. Ah, Ren, you're probably... Huh? <laughs> Anyways, what I wanted to do is set up a pitcher pump right here. Just to pick up all the water that we are dropping. Oh, then I cannot have the vent here. Hmm. Maybe I just use an automation switch. Yeah, let's have that right here with some wiring. Wonderful. Well, as sad as it sounds, I have to send over something here in terms of metal. So we're gonna do a thousand kilograms of gold amalgam. I think the payloads actually already arrived. How wonderful. These go extremely quickly, contrary to the rockets. Looks like we re-established the vacuum. Wonderful. Okay, that means we should be able to set up... No, no liquid vent just yet. Yeah. Frankie and Jean are slowly going crazy. There it is. Finally a running system. We are collecting some water that we are hopefully able to grab. Yes, indeed. I got my bottle emptier back. Let's go ahead and fill this up with water. I want a good amount of it so that we end up with 20 to 30 kilograms of steam per tile. Ooh, this is already... <sighs> Oh gosh, open that darn door. Open the door. Just, just, just open it, please. Thank you. So now we just have to cool down these metal tasks, but, you know, most of the steam is gonna remain at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. We already cooled it down. What's happening to me recently? This game has gotten much harder. I'm just finishing the piping and bringing the materials for the steam turbine, and after cleaning this up, we should be good to go to give this a test run before wrapping up. Now Ren is gonna need at least one point in rocket piloting. I think I can risk... No, actually I sh... 
Uh oh. I just went overboard here. I mean, if this works, we can respec him slightly. We don't need anything in digging anymore, since we dug up the entirety of the planetoid. So if this becomes a problem, I'm just gonna skill scrub him. Okay, I feel like we have a good amount of water in here. I'm gonna deconstruct this bad boy. And we're gonna install it one level higher up. We're also gonna bring along some water here. Um, actually enable auto bottle and I need to be sure. Yeah, this is probably enough. Let's not do any more. I just need that thin layer for protection, you know. Yeah, honestly, that is already gonna do the trick. Finally, get that steam turbine going. And last but not least, we're gonna clean up. Now, launching this rocket, hopefully, is not gonna be that much of an issue. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I did send the others back with this rocket because this one still had the food and everything. I'm gonna attempt a quick and dirty cleanup with a automatic dispenser so we can grab all those materials. Then I'm gonna close this off just to be sure. I mean, it shouldn't heat up to 540 degrees, but I don't want to risk anything. I think we landed back on the planetoid. Let's release the crew. No, hold on. This one here. You guys are free to go. Though, don't forget your Atmo suits this time around, please. See ya! Good trip! That was fun. Wonderful! Everything cleaned up. We're gonna close this off, then start the rocket program and at least try to heat this up in order to get some steam. Now, in this case, I would say we can already get started there. If we are above 200 degrees at this point, no, actually we should lower this. Let's say 190 degrees in this spot. That means it's probably more than 200 degrees in this one. Then that means we want to open the door. We'll have to see how it goes. But there we go. Metal tile heating up, water heating up. Good, with that out of the way, let's change the destination here. We're just gonna go into orbit as planned. And crew is gonna be Ren begin launch sequence. We then wanna go ahead and land on this platform 973. Ren, 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 Ren. You are allowed to do rocketry, okay? All crew on board. Wait, did I mess that up? Ren and yeah, of course. Frankie is not gonna help you this time around. Uh, ooh, okay, yeah, it did get pretty hot there. Wonderful. So this one here, we're already going to attack for deconstruction 973. So we're going to take that, change destination and 973. Okay. Can we see that happen, please? Hello? Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. And from the looks of it, this is working phenomenally. Now, is there anything that can get really hot? Ooh. okay. This is actually getting pretty hot. Yeah, this transit tube access point at some point is gonna overheat. Actually, it's probably just gonna melt. <laughs> so it is important that right now we get out of the ship, deconstruct this and then set up a layer of protection. Thank you. Okay, if we do something like that, I believe... Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't see a reason why this shouldn't work. Gonna set up obsidian ladders as well. Also, this solar panel here tends to overheat because it is still overlapping with the background. Ah, wonderful. We have our first steam. Well, technically our second. But we can see the heat being sucked out of these metal tiles. I love it. There we go. Set and done. Do we have the time? Yes, we have the time. Let's do another launch. And we want to see how this behaves right now in terms of temperatures. Is this leaking still? No, it looks like, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, and then we immediately have to get her back. And I meant the rocket, of course. This is good. Now we are heating up again. And we still have the same amount of fuel. So this is absolutely insane. I'm not sure what the devs were thinking here. But I'm now taking full advantage of it. I just realized that my sedimentary rock is not gonna hold up. But yeah, the barrier seems to be doing okay. And now we can activate those steam turbines. Now all we have to do is, you know, save some heat in here. So we have to repeat that procedure a couple of times. Not sure how many. That is probably a thing we're gonna figure out the next time. For now, I'm just gonna do a couple of passes and see how we fare. Oh, come on. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now we are already at 200 degrees here. Okay, and everything else is lacking behind. 
maybe a bunch of temp shift plates wouldn't have been the worst of ideas. But yeah, you see where we are going with this. It is technically working. I'm now gonna relieve Ren of his rocket duties for now. Good job, Ren. Good job. But yeah, I would say with that out of the way, we're gonna wrap it up. We are one step closer to finishing this planetoid. I guess there's always something we can find to do. I thought the previous episode I was wrapping it up, but here we are. Alrighty, with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.